Latin America, a region celebrated for its rich culture and breathtaking nature, might soon add semiconductor manufacturing to its list of marvels. With the US eager to dilute Asia's stronghold on the semiconductor industry, Latin American countries are seizing an unprecedented opportunity. Hello everyone and welcome back to Procurement in the Park. I'm Christian Shu, and today we build on a previous episode in which we discussed the semiconductor giants of Japan and China and their strategic moves in the high-stakes game of technology. Today, we pivot to an unexpected new player in this global drama, Latin America. With the United States seeking to diminish its dependency on Asian semiconductor manufacturing, Latin America emerges as a promising frontier in this technological tug of war. In a world where technology increasingly powers our daily lives, the semiconductor industry sits at the very heart of innovation. Traditionally dominated by Asia, the semiconductor landscape is witnessing a seismic shift with the United States leading the charge towards diversification. Enter Latin America, a region not historically known for semiconductor production, yet now on the brink of a significant transformation. Last year marked a pivotal moment as the United States announced collaborative ventures with Costa Rica and Panama, aiming to fortify the global semiconductor ecosystem. Intel's commitment of $1.2 billion in Costa Rica over two years signals a shift towards diversifying semiconductor manufacturing. Yet as the tides turn towards Latin America, Mexico and Brazil, the regional powerhouses appear indecisive despite their clear stakes in this evolving narrative. The heart of the opportunity lies in the assembly, testing and packaging phase, areas where Latin America's competitive advantages such as lower wages and proximity to the US could herald a new era of prosperity and strategic importance. This phase of semiconductor manufacturing, crucial yet labor-intensive, fits well with the economic and logistical frameworks of Latin American countries, potentially offering a solution to the US's desire to reduce Asian dependency. However, the journey is fraught with challenges. Mexico's struggle with water scarcity and the lack of political support dims its otherwise favorable conditions. Brazil, on the other hand, teeters on the brink of ambition and reality, its semiconductor self-reliance aspirations clashing with practical challenges and geopolitical intricacies. Despite these hurdles, the potential for Latin America in the semiconductor industry is undeniable. Intel's thriving operations in Costa Rica and Panama's educational initiatives with Arizona State University paint a picture of what's possible. Yet, for a transformational impact, the larger economies of Mexico and Brazil must step into the arena, embracing the semiconductor opportunity with open arms and clear strategies. As we conclude today's episode, Latin America's potential entry into the semiconductor manufacturing sector not only promises economic benefits, but also signifies a shift in the global technological equilibrium. As we watch this story unfold, let's reflect on the broader implications for global trade, technology advancement, and the strategic recalibrations of nations and corporations alike. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Latin America's emerging role in the semiconductor industry. I'm Christian Shu, and this has been Procurement in the Park from Windy Santa Cruz.